Hello, my mates. It is Crashmaster, and welcome to Doctor Who: The Lonely Assassins. That is right, my mates. We are starting this off now. This is the first video out of the main three I'm recording. I'm not sure when or how this is going to be uploaded on in in October. Just letting you know, mates. Know, um, but. Basically, this game came out a while back, as it says right there, 2018, I think. No, 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 this game and another game were in tandem. One was supposed to be, like, a, a main game for, like, computers, and one, which I think is this one. Another one was supposed to be released for more mobile devices, which it might be this one. I'm not sure. There were two Doctor Who games, one for mobile and one for, like, major consoles and stuff like that, and major platforms, I believe. And this is one of them. And I've been wanting to play this for quite some time, my. It's now... Um, for many of you Whovians, such as myself, because I admittedly do love the show, um, many of you Whovians might know who the Lonely Assassins are. Now, that's, that's not what they're known as, that's not the actual species name, but it's one of the known many sort of nicknames, I suppose you could say, fairy tale, legends, kind of mythos, kind of thing. And let's just say that... They are something that you do not want to trifle with. You might say that you might not want to even blink, or else it might get you. But anyway, Mites, here we go. Now, took me a while to set this up, so hopefully this is okay. I hope this is okay so far. Um, I just want to check something. Let me see. So it's a it's a found. So, okay, so it doesn't say 2018. Maybe that's a, I think that's because since as you many uh, many of you Doctor Who fans might know you can see the, the logo It's the 2018 style of the show like it's going on series. I Want to say series 10 to or was it 11? Jodie Whittaker who plays the 13th Doctor. It's this style of the show You can tell by the way the the style of the font is for Doctor Who and just overall how the background looks as well, very much like the show's most new intro, I suppose. And um, this game came out in March 19th, 2028, but I'm guessing it's because the show started this season. It was either Series 10? No, no, Series 11 through 13. That is what it is, and Series 11 starting in 2018. That's what it was about. So, yes, it's a 2021 found phone mystery video game. Um... And it was released for iOS and Android devices and PC uh, through Steam and the Epic Game Store, stuff like that. So this was the game, I believe, that was mostly focused on, like, the phone style. But I might be wrong, but we're about to see, mates. We're about to see. We're about to enter. I've been wanting to play a Doctor Who game, but there's not too many. There are a couple, but it's either they require a VR headset, which I don't want to get into setting that whole thing up and purchasing it and then it's like i can't even use it the way i want to and it's like there are a couple other games out there like i know there's like fine it's a freddy's vr but they have a normal screen version which maybe i'll just play that i don't know let me know if you guys want to see some vr stuff on the channel i know minecraft has a vr thing on the oculus and other stuff ps5 and ps4 they have the obvious playstation vr thing maybe i could play something there i'm not sure but anyway Enough chit chat, let's get into it right now. Ooh. So, yes, it is supposed to be mostly on a phone. Please enter your pattern to unlock. Uh. I like the, the hexagon. Once again, this is gonna be a lot of Doctor Who fans out there who probably know some of this stuff. Oh, okay. Uh. Maybe this way? Oh, oh god, oh god, um, oh no 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 uh, sequence override, blah, 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 all that code. I am not a computer person whatsoever. Seriously, as I said, it took me a while to set this up as it is. Safe mode. Receiving system update from server 1, all's good. Downloading all's good OS. <laughs> Can we get that? Can we get that instead of, like, the Mac o iOS? Can we get that instead of, like, that? Ooh. Love all the hexagons. Very lovely shape. Petronella, all's good. Restarting device. 
Good thing it didn't fully self-destruct. I thought that was gonna blow up. Oh! Wait a minute. Okay. I just wanna make sure something works. Okay, good. I wanna make sure that it's only in my headset and not like this because then the, the feedback is gonna go into the mic and it's gonna make everything sound bad. Uh... Lawrence, at last. Oh, the way you've been avoiding my calls, anyone would think I was your mother. This isn't your mother, by the way. Well, unless there's been a horrendous mix-up with the time fracture. But I think... Oh. I think you're not Lawrence, which means Lawrence is still missing. <sighs> okay, I've not got long, so just listen. I have a funny feeling an old friend of mine made sure this phone fell into your hands, which means you're the right person for the job. The job being, find Lawrence. I can't stress how important that is. Think yellow highlighter and, and circled in red several times. Yes, that important. Right, my friends call me Petronella. You can call me Osgood. Oh, I'm an I investigator right. looking into the odd, the unexplained, anything on Earth or even beyond. And I've only just realized what a massive remit that is. No wonder I need your help. You and me are going to sift through clues, codes, and face some terrifying enemies. Sound like fun? Oh, yes. Uh, gotta go. But I'll be in touch, because you and me, we've got a game. Hmm. Oh, uh, goodbye. Sorry. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, no, no problem, all's good. Uh, let's see. Now, thanks for taking my call. Now let me tell you about oh <laughs> so we are a bit into the past uh february 28th 2021 why does that day why does that date sound familiar to me i'm not sure thanks for taking my call now let me tell you what this is all about the phone belongs to a man named lawrence who's connected to a rather fabulous person of interest problem is lawrence seems to be missing in action um <laughs> yes, very intriguing. How can I help? I need to find Lawrence. So you can help me by going through this phone. There may be clues in there as to where he's gone. Well, judging by the title of the game, then we're gonna need something of a time machine of a sort. So yeah, I, I believe this game also might was part of like the time fracture sort of event. Usually, because usually, like, stuff like this ties into the show in some way, or, like, the Doctor Who actual event place, which I'm not sure if it's even open anymore. Um, but, but either way, um, uh, there might be close to us where he's gone. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, alright, sounds easy. And, uh, uh, how about, where do I start? Oh, hang on, I might, I may have something useful for you. I've installed a uh, scanning kit on the phone. It'll highlight any potential clues. If it works. <laughs> cross your fingers, Moit. Cross your fingers. Uh, best give the kit a bit of a test drive. Alright, no problem. Uh, great. How do I do that? Let's start with getting a picture of Lawrence. He's bound to have one somewhere on his phone. Find a picture of Lawrence. Got it. Wait, does that mean she doesn't know who, what he looks like? When you spot anything of interest, like his picture in this case, the scan button will turn yellow. Tap it to activate the scanner. Then place your finger on the screen and drag it around to capture all the data till the progress bar fills up. If you hear a strange noise, you're doing it right. Then, you'll get a clue. Do send me any clues you find. Oh yes, I've added a handy tracker, just in case you get stuck or are unsure of what to do. To access it, tap the icon at the top left of the home screen. So now, the first clue you need to find is that photo of Lawrence. Okay. Well, it should be easy. Maybe we go to the gallery. It's got to be something here. Maybe a selfie of some sort. Um, oh, there he is. I'm assuming. Alright. He's got a button up, so I'm already liking his style already. Alright. Uh... Scan Lawrence's photo, who is Osgood. You should talk to her and find out. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is like hints, kind of, like an objective and stuff. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Clue found. Lawrence's photo. A photo of Lawrence, the original owner of the phone in your possession. Alright. I think I've got his picture. Excellent work. Since you scanned the photo, could you send it to me, please? Sure thing. No problem, all's good. There you go. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, upload. There we are. Mayor and approximately Lawson's age. It's all him, all right. Restoring browser, restoring chats, restoring mail, restoring calls. Ooh, we got lots of data, and I love lots of data. Kind of, because then you have to go through that data, and that's going to take a while. Got it. Hmm. There's clearly more files in there, but they're corrupted or something. Odd. Uh, okay, so what do we do now? Any chance you can uncorrupt them? Fix them up a bit? Take a look through the new files, would you? See if you can find out more about Lawrence and what he's been doing recently. Might give us a clue as to where he's gone. Uh, what do you already know about Lawrence? Not much. Hmm. Male, in his 40s, worked in a shop that sold old books and rare DVDs. Now owns said shop. Also runs a movie club, it seems. And why exactly are you looking for him again? Well, what little that I do know about Lawrence tells me that he could lead me to someone I've been looking for. Someone rather important let's stay focused go through the entire phone if you find anything interesting scan it and i'll take a look good luck nope all right uh maybe it's chat maybe oh oh yeah that is Ew. that is not good yikes yeah pretty badly that's just a uh, weird corruption if i've seen one or that is so strange um, sorry about interrupting you. Sally Sparrow. Why does that name sound familiar as well? Alright, um, wait, is this the, the past or the, um, okay, top is the, the past, okay. Right. March 15, 2017, okay, this is a while back, huh. Hey Sally, hope I caught you before you fly, just want to wish you good luck. You'll do great things in America, I know it. The world isn't ready for Sally Sparrow. We've got everything covered here, I promise. Don't, But don't forget us once you've got your big, exciting life going there. Yeah? Oh, Larry, don't be so dramatic. I'm just moving across the pond. It's not the end of the world. But thank you, Larry. I know I'm leaving London and the store in capable hands. I never doubt a nightingale? Nightingale? A nightingale? Not sure what that is. Promise, unless that's his last name. Laura's nightingale. Promise I'll... Um, in the and the store incapable. So maybe Sally was the owner of the shop, the store, and now and wait and he worked there. Lawrence worked there, and also Larry. So maybe that's like a nickname, possibly. Um. So La I'm gonna say Lawrence though. So Lawrence now owns the shop, possibly. I never doubt a nightingale. Promise I'll make you proud here, and I'll send a postcard to you, uh, peasants, when I make it big here. Oh shush, and uh, just emoji. All right, not much there. This is a bit more recent. You're bailing again, Larry? The campaign's been on pause for weeks. I know, I know, sorry. But work's in the way, and I have other things going on. May go ahead without me? Maybe maybe go ahead without me. Just this once. What? You're our only healer. Ah, uh, they're playing a game. Okay. It's probably like a... Probably like a... Let's see, like a RPG or something like that. Plus, Tom's a complete murder hobo. <laughs> That's actually a real type of person you could be. Well, kind of gameplay style. It'll be chaos. We should kick him out of the group if he keeps that up. See, this is why we need our cleric. His infinite wisdom. We'll just have to aim for a session after Daz's party. Are you sure you're okay with the planning? Since you're busy and all. Positive. I want to make up for everything. If you insist. Alright, tell me if you need any help. Yeah? You got it, Mo. Alright, um, so that was January 21st. Oh. Huh. Okay, that was strange. We'll get to that, though. Uh, so this is a few weeks later. Psst, you got everything ready for Daz's birthday party? 
Yep, stuff should get delivered by this weekend. Excellent, mate. <laughs> You're the best. Can hardly wait. Hopefully, anyway. You never know with Henrix. Bunch of hellos, hellos, hellos. So, uh, NG off to work, perhaps? Off to something, something, maybe. 1257. That's a bit of a... 1257... Wait, no, 1256pm. That's... What's with the time jump there? That's... This is not a normal glitch. If I ever seen one. Wait, how many packs are you getting? Getting a keg. Yes! He hates surprises. But the keg will defo make up for everything. Did I mention you're the best? Only every other day. Lol. <laughs> the modesty on this one. February 14th, 2021. Just saw the list of stuff, mate. Disco ball. You're a proper legend. I know, I know. I'm the best. Now the 17th. Hiya, mate. Party day's almost here. Need anything, uh, need any help bringing the stuff on, th on the day of? Might help myself to the keg first. A few, about, almost a hour and a half later. Larry? Don't leave me hanging, man. Almost two, uh, just over two hours later. Larry, what's going on? I'm just trying to give Daza a decent birthday. Serves me right for depending on you, I guess. Yikes. Also, I'm sorry, Moitz, I know I'm moving a little bit. I don't know why my neck's feeling a little weird. It's got a voice message. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, man. I just got back and Dazza told me about Nats. You must be like crazy worried. But she's gonna turn up. You probably thought I was well out of order with my texts about the party. But obviously, I'll take care of all that. You need to focus on finding Nats. And hey, I'm here for you, Loz. Whatever you need. Even if it's just a talk. Don't be one of those dinosaurs who thinks talking about problems a mugs game. It helps, man. I should know. Listen, I'm going to give you another bell later, okay? And we'll find her, yeah? You and her, you're going to be together forever. Alright, later. Said Nat. Uh... Huh. I have Kathy, some kind of package, and Moe, who I was uh, right there with, uh, right there listening to. Let's see. Mate, story about everything. So somebody, something happened to this Nat person, and it seems that maybe he went looking for her. I'm not sure. Uh, February 18, 2021. Mate, sorry about everything again. I'm here for you. You know that, right? Call me if you need anything. Whether it's a bit, to, a bite to eat, or just to take your mind off things. I could be over in a flash. Are you okay? I wanted to check in with you. Uh, just the next day. Popped by earlier, but you weren't around. Good to know you. Uh, you're out of the house at least. Left some stew me mom cooked up near your post box. Please take care of yourself. Maybe that was the package? Uh, a few days later on the 22nd. Well, two days later. Larry, my, I know it's hard times. But don't go silent on me, yeah? You're worrying me, man. If not me, then ring Daza, Hamish, or anyone, really. You know if we got you. A few days later, once again. 24th. Larry, please talk to me. No one's seen you in days. Where are you? Yeah, so something must have happened to Larry on the f between the so something must have happened to Larry between the 14th or the 17th, but based on this message right here, it seems to possibly which also is a bit strange because it goes from the PM to the AM, even though that should be the 18th. So around the 17th to the 18th, something happened to Lawrence slash Larry. Huh. Uh, what about this package? Your package has been delivered. It's an automated message. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing interesting there. Kathy. 29th January 2021. Happy birthday, Kathy. It feels all to say that again. I miss you, Kathy. I miss you so much. There's so much happening now that's dragging up old mem that's dredging up old memories. I wish we spoke more, especially after the mom and dad passed. More than just me phoning you whenever I need a place to stay. I know I can't change things, but I just... Want to be your dumb brother again. You were always a smart one. And I was... Yeah. I'd give anything to go back to that. To have you here. Um... Hello? Kathy? No, no. I'm so sorry. This isn't your sister. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Well, there's no easy way to say this. My name's Graham. I'm the current owner of this phone. Graham. Now that name sounds a bit familiar. Oh god. Oh god. My apologies, Graham. I should have known that the provider would have sold her number by now. I'll stop. 
It's all right, really. I'm sorry for your loss, mate. Thanks, Graham. I appreciate it. Listen, you can keep sending messages if you want. I won't read them, promise. That's awfully generous for you, but it's all right. Probably should have said those things when I could anyway. I understand. The office still stands if you ever change your mind, though. I'll remember that. It's no problem. Well, hope you have a good day, and sorry about interrupting you. So, really only the best one was Mo, and something happened with someone named Nat, and maybe he went off to find her? Now let's check the mail. Alright. Hmm. Nightingale again. Damn you, Nightingale. Uh, to blah blah blah, from blah blah blah. Dear Mr. Nightingale, I write regarding the recent renovations on my property. I understand that construction works can cause inconvenience for those around, and for that I apologize. That said, I must ask you to refrain from harassing me any further. What I do on my property is my business, and I am well within my rights to carry out whatever works I choose on my own home. If you do not desist, you will be hearing from my lawyer. Regards, Edward Flint. P.S. I should add that I do not appreciate your childish scare tactics. I do not believe, for a solitary moment, the outlandish tales you tell about my property. I see them for what they are. Poisonous poppycock, Mr. Nightingale. Poisonous poppycock. What is he talking about? What, what strange stuff? What's this about? Yeah, still this weird virus or corruption or whatever. Uh, let's try this. Amy. Someone named Amy, maybe? Hello, dear. Uh, Jan 8th, so we're a bit further back. Dear Mrs. Lennox, thank you for your email. Allow me to... Wait, okay, this is to... from him. Okay, okay. So he's writing... So Lawrence is writing the, uh, Mrs. Lennox or Amy. Thank you for your email. Allow me to go over the events of the unfortunate day you chose to enter our shop. You ordered a chicken parmesan salad when this was brought to me. You asked if there was meat in it, to which the reply was, obviously, yes. You then flew into a raging temper and informed us that you do not eat meat. Why would you order chicken parmesan then? It has chicken. Unless it's like some plant-based thing. I, I don't know. While you somehow managed to misunderstood the word chicken on the menu, our staff was kind enough to offer you a replacement meal. You responded by throwing your plates and cutlery onto the floor. At this point, our staff had no choice but to escort you off the premises. Also, that uppity woman is my partner. Given your behavior, Mrs. Lennox, be thankful that we're not pressing charges. Please do not patronize us ever again. Mom always did say you were a crazy old bat. Cheerio, Lawrence. Dear Lawrence, this is Amy Lennox. I do hope you remember me. I was a friend of your mom. How are you, my dear? Uh, wait, so this was... Um, that was eight. And this is uh, earlier... Right here. Pays me to write this, but I have the most out of your exception. Da, 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 da. Understand it's hard to get good health. Give me an inch, it'll take a mile, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is just uh, before. Something really interesting there. What about this one? Excellent news. Your order has been delivered. You're in the following store credit uh, purchase. Uh, what did he order? What's this? Uh, department store. Order on February 13th, 2021. Uh, yeah, matches up. Updated, blah, blah. Summer is here. What is this? At Henrix, we value your patronage. Rest assured, I assume it's hard at work filling your order. Eh, whatever. It's nothing, nothing really. Oh, wait. How can this be Lawrence if this is his phone? This doesn't make any sense. Lawrence? Lawrence. Lawrence, can you hear me? Lawrence? Lawrence, I can't hear you. You have to speak up. Where are you? Where are you?
Okay, so we actually did get some horror in this game. Honestly, Moites, I was going to say, so far this game doesn't seem too bad, too terrifying, but, and if you notice, I closed my eyes there for a second because I was trying to listen, I was trying to focus. He's like, did she walk this way? Was it my fault? He said something along those lines. That it was too unclear. And what was that about? What is going on? How is Lawrence calling himself? No, a phone shouldn't be capable of doing that. No, really. Unless... And it was all glitchy? What is going on? <sighs> Nothing yet. Maybe his browser? There was the browser history. Alabama's blue box. Okay, much. So the video is getting a little long, but uh, I want to like... I, I want to at least look at the browser just a little bit. Blue box, spot it, and... Blue box spotted in Montgomery. It's it's <laughs> it's him or probably her. I would I would think it's I think it's her now uh, at this point. Well, it's 2020. Well, yes, I think I think it should be her. Some of the most interesting puzzles in history are some of the smallest. One of these is the mystery of the Montgomery Blue Box, an enigma that has stumped local historians for decades. In December. 1955, an incongruous, an incongruous blue painted telephone box appeared in an alleyway in Montgomery, Alabama. Nobody knew where it came from, but reports su suggest it was not there the previous day. Within records show that inquiries from the local populace were met with confusion by county authorities. They had no record of its installation. Officials were sent to inspect the box, but by the time they arrived, it had vanished as suddenly as it appeared. The only visual evidence we have of its existence, and the only clue of its origins, was a single photograph of the box taken by a local reporter, which might have been here? Maybe it was this one? Um, let me see, um, let me see, let me see. Uh, the historians have identified it as a British police box. These were kiosks. Key kiosks or car boxes once used in the UK. Yes, they were actually used in um British uh in Britain for quite a while in the UK. And you can even telephone and offer the police if there was an emergency, or even shove a person in and lock them in just in case to make sure they don't try anything funny. Um, they enabled police and police and members of the public to contact nearby police stations in the event of an emergency. But the strangest thing. Experts generally agreed that the box in question probably originated from Great Britain in the early 1960s, which is very strange considering this appeared on December 1955, five years before even the year 1960. This raises more questions than it solves. What was a British phone box doing in Alabama? Where did it come from and where did it go? How did a phone box from the 1960s appear in a phot photograph from 1955? Some investigators have claimed the blue box was not a police box and was said some kind of prop constructed by hoaxers. Proponents of this counter theory have pointed out that the windows are wrong. <laughs> they usually are. Got to get that fixed. Uh, what you got to say? If that were if that was me, I would make sure that detail was not wrong. Update. Since originally running this story, we've been contacted by several readers who have heard similar legends of the blue box. We've heard reports of window wooden phone kiosks being spotted in Punjab in 1947, Tibet in 1935, and most bizarrely, allegations of two blue boxes in your press in 1914. We'll bring we'll be bringing you more updates soon. Any chance I can? Uh, nothing. Really? I feel like that's pretty important. I mean, <laughs> that is pretty important. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute and then end off the video, Mites. But, uh, I want to check some of these other photos. Image 20. So this is 20. This is 19. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go to the top. 
the po something poet of great food, great etc. Nothing suspicious. There's a lady, there's a woman there, but other than that, picture of uh, seemingly a beer, uh, maybe a hotel with crooked pillows. Don't know why that's a thing, but okay. Um, looks like uh, some food, just some like uh, some sort of salad, maybe mixed dish. Very nice photograph of uh, somewhere far away, another woman, um, and a uh, pawn area, quiet little area, <laughs> some ducks. Uh, wait, that's a little girl, I, I, I believe, based on her height, maybe? She's playing with the ducks? Does Lawrence have a daughter? Or maybe a niece, or maybe a little sister, S uh, something. Uh, very nice area. Maybe this is the hotel they're staying. Uh, he's staying out of something of a sort. Now he's in the woods. He's on a, a bus, maybe? Looks more like an airplane, but it could be like a bus or... Don't think it's a train. I'm not sure. Um, some green sneakers matching the green fauna. Very nice. Uh, some delicacies, maybe some desserts. Uh, seemingly he might work at a, like a bakery or something. Like, based on that leather he got at the, the place. Another piece of food and an <laughs> adorable little kitty with, like, a fox plush. Um, also got uh, him maybe watching uh, some TV or maybe in his hotel room. Some more dessert. Very high photo of seemingly London. You have the bridge right there. How did he get so high? Was he in a plane, maybe? About to land? There seems to be Lawrence himself, and now he's at this place. Maybe this was the party? Does this party? I'm not... I have no idea. Not much we can really go off of there based on clues. Just a bunch of theories, but... What is this? Because this was not here. Till death do us part. Too corrupted to look. <sighs> what now? What now? What now? Browser. The drumline's disappearance. Sparrow and Nightingale. Into the unknown. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly just look at this real quick, Moist, and I'm gonna end the video. Antiquated books and rare something. Uh, rare DVDs. So this is supposed to be the shop that he and maybe the other woman own, possibly. Sparrow and Nightingale, Antiquated Books, and maybe Sally Sparrow and Lawrence Nightingale. Seems they own the shop maybe together before she left to America. Antiquated Books and Rare DVDs, singing stories of the past, the present, and the future. How we're giving back to the community. Founded in 2008, Sparrow Nightingale is an independent co, uh, independent shop. I don't know why I said that. Based on community and care, maintained by the Nightingales, the store houses an exciting collection of diverse stories, both in physical and digital format. Our titles are skillfully are skillfully uh, curated with the intent to inspire, celebrate, and remember. Okay, so maybe, maybe that was her. Maybe that was his sister. Uh. They're both nightingales, so it does make sense. Or maybe it could be his wife, but it seems to be maybe his sister, because he talked about. This is very strange. Drop by the nook. We're right around the corner. Huh, not much to go. It is not letting me click about about us. Anything else, maybe? Not, not, not much. It's a bunch of information. Into the unknown. Okay. So much. Gotta say. Um, sorry this wasn't the scary scary game or anything like that. I'm pretty. I might. I do want to play this later on. Probably not in the same month. Maybe I'll switch some of my stuff. Maybe like I'll switch it with Hello Neighbor or FNAF or Bendy. One of those games. Maybe in that line. Maybe I'll make this game with a few others. Let me know much. Do you find this interesting? Do you find it kind of boring or kind of eh? Like there was a one decent scare. Uh, it was it was kind of it was kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I really love seeing this as well It is a very interesting kind of mystery. I must say but 
uh, for now, that's where we're going to leave it. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Um, nonetheless, please leave a like and subscribe. It is very, very much appreciated. I will see you all later. Let them